Hello wine snobs. Welcome to another edition of Cellar Updates. Today is going to be a short and sweet one. We're going to look at two wines that I just added to the cellar this week. Um, the first one here is uh, Chinon from uh, Loire, France, Loire Valley. This one I had reviewed earlier, previously, probably at the beginning of this month, October. And I was just blown away by the rich expression of the terroir through this wine. Um, it came across, it had a very rich, heavy uh, mushroom uh, leather in there. Uh, damp, loamy, sandy soil mushroom. Uh, it's just really rich wine, very expressive, very layered. The body was actually fairly tamed for as expressive as the nose was. Um, I found it really pleasant. Some people don't care for that. Um, you may, some people may refer to it as barnyard or old Victorian <laughs> um, or saddle, horse saddle. <laughs> but I like it. I love it when a wine expresses itself that way, when the terroir is expressed through the, through the wine in such a fashion. Um, this is uh, uh, Chinon, of course, uh, 2015. This is primarily a Cab Franc. So you can, to give you an idea of what to expect, Cab Francs aren't necessarily very layered. This one, however, for Cab Franc is fairly layered, um, if, I, if I may say so, um, and fairly rich and complex for a Cab Franc. Um, but the body is actually fairly restrained. It's not as big, bold, and heavy um, as, a cab, as most Cab Francs that you'd find out there. I think there's something very special about this region, this Chinon region in general. Um, I highly recommend you explore it. And a good start would be a bottle such as this. It comes in at about $20 on wine.com. I'll have the links below. And I think it's a tremendous bargain and value for that price. Um, it's very rich. Uh, this uh, estate also has a quite a rich heritage as well, a long storied history. So I highly recommend take a look at it. This will easily rival bottles twice the price. It's a lesser known chateau or estate. And uh, so that's where you get the value. So we're literally going off the beaten path here in the Loire Valley and uh, I think uh, you won't be disappointed with this one. So check it out. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, get in touch with me on Instagram. I would love to know what you think about this wine. All right. So the next on our list is Beaujolais Village. Um, that's the appellation. Beaujolais, and it's from France as well. This one is by Jean-Claude Lapalu. I hope I pronounced that right. Now I had opened, uh, I'd looked at one of their wines, uh, maybe spring, and uh, I was really impressed. Very similar to the one we were just looking at here. Rich terroir, rich earth. This one was less mushroomy as this one, probably more damp wood and forest floor. Very intense expression um, of the terroir and the environment in general. I like that. I found that very interesting and intriguing. Uh, the body was rich, layered as well. I believe this is a Gamay. Uh, that's the grape varietal. And this one, the only difference with this one, this one is a vieille vigne, which means it's uh, uh, old vines. And so I would imagine that those same characteristics in the one I'd reviewed earlier this year would be perhaps even more so expressed in here. This is a 2019, so it's probably young uh, for, for what it is. So. I'm really curious to dive into it. I, I had a really good experience and good feedback from the last one I looked at from this estate. 
and uh, because of that I think it was worth it jumping on these they popped up for about $24 $25 and uh, the original uh, one was not available they were sold out so um, I wanted to take advantage of that opportunity and stock up on a few more of these um, I should probably stock up on the wines I like before I post my reviews <laughs> they always seem to run out but uh, nonetheless I think uh, you should take a look and track this um, estate Jean-Claude Lapalu and Beaujolais village um, it's definitely another hidden gem off the beaten path I highly recommend um, you know cute little detail you know the the labels appear basically printed on a on an inkjet printer <laughs> I think that's how that's how off the beaten path um, you know we're going here uh, these are you know some of some wines that are lesser known definitely but if you look carefully you have to kind of pay attention if you look at the various scores that they've gotten from reviewers on wine.com you can start seeing where the value is so just because they're lesser known and lower priced it doesn't mean they they're have a lesser score uh, so this and these this other uh, Chinon here had some fairly respectable scores so definitely take a look at this there'll be a link in the description below to my review and links on where you can get them so there you have it wine snobs seller update number three we have a Chinon and we have a Beaujolais Village cheers wine snobs